Okay, let's get started. Let's warm up first. So a couple of minutes, we just keep on warming up, gentle steps. So at least our leg muscles start getting warmed up. Let's go for Bastrika. This uh, movement uh, is consists with Bastrika Pranayam, the breathing exercise. We bounce up and down for 120 times. So we'll just use both, both nostrils to inhale and exhale. your legs, relax your calf muscles. So we're gonna bounce again up and down with Bastrika. Uh, Bastrika is one of the, which is the fire breathing exercise. Pranayam, Bastrika Pranayam, using your right nostril only. So let's close your left nostril and let's go for 60 times up and down. to do the same thing using your left nostril. Let's close right nostril using your right uh, hand for two fingers and let's bounce up and down for 60 times. Let's shake our legs to relax your calf muscles. And now we are going to do 45 times jumping jacks and inhale and exhale. So just concentrate on exhalation when you're, you bring your arms down and feet together. So you don't need to worry about inhalation because this is more of concent concentration on your exhalation. Let's inhale here, exhale here. your legs. So that was 45 times and we are going to do now skipping on one foot at a time 
as you swing your arms slightly in opposite direction. So let's skip on left, right, left. And 50 times. Okay, now let's do one quick steps. So what we will do is we are going to just uh, simulate running at one place. So we are going to do that 100 times. So move fast, as fast as you can. Let's go for 100 steps. And 100. Okay, just let's do active break. Slowly walk. So someone is on unmute, so let me mute everyone. Okay. Now let's just swing your Arms to your left, to your right. Exhale. Exhale when you bring your arms down. Breathe out. Breathe out. Breathe out. Breathe out. And just relax your breath should be back to normal and let's stretch now sideways let's bring your feet apart balance your shoulders your left arm up stretch it high and then lean to your right side as you breathe out And same thing on your right side. Stretch your right arm up and then lean to your left. Breathe out, so no resistance. Let's do one more time. Your left arm up and stretch it up and then lean to your right side. By the way, nowadays, I post all these videos on my channel. So, breathe out, go to your left. So you can go on my channel, YouTube channel, and whenever you want to do any exercise or any class, you can follow the entire class. Let's bring your both hands up. Stretch both arms upwards and then lean to your right side. As you breathe out. And stretch your both arms up again. Let's go to your left side. Along with your head. Let's do it one more time. So stretching upwards your upper body works on your neck also. So lean your, your ear along with your lower arm. Let's go to your left side. Exhale. 
and let's bring your both arms down. So more you stretch from your shoulder blades, your upper arm, I mean your upper part of your back, more it works on your neck. All right, let's bring your feet apart, more apart, and arms apart. Hello to your shoulders. Let's go down forward into tabletop. So tabletop, knee straight, and your back extended. Your hips high, your chest high, so you can even arch your back. Neck extended. So see where you can feel your neck extended, what position. Hold it. And then let's place your hands down on the floor, on your mat. And here, adjust your back again. Adjusting means your hips high, your chest high. And arch your back so your spine can be lengthened. All right, let's bring your arms apart again. And let's touch your right toes with your left hand. And breathe out, go to your other side. Breathe out. And 20. Let's place your hands again on the floor. Again, lean on your hands while keeping your back straight, your knees straight. Let's extend your left arm forward, right one behind. And let's switch, breathe out. So breathing is really important with your movements. Let's go to the other side. <laughs> And let's place your hands again in the middle. And let's bring your both arms forward as you breathe out. And breathe out behind your body. Exhale. And then again. Back in the middle, and we're gonna twist now by bringing your right arm up, look up. Now exhale, and look up towards your upper hand. Twist as much as possible. And let's go to your other side. Twist, and go to your left side, and look up. One more time, let's go to your right side. And let's go to your left side. These exercises, let's put your hands down, adjust your whole back, your posture, which is very important to correct your posture. So let's bring your both hands to your left side towards your left foot, and then towards your right foot. Exhale when you go to your left. Exhale when you go to your right. Breathe out, breathe out, breathe out, breathe out, and breathe out. All right, let's place your hands down again in the middle. Now we're gonna walk your toes inwards, and then your heels in. Your toes in, your heels in, your toes in, your heels in. And then bring like a one foot apart, your feet. But keep your hands down. If you are not able to keep your hands down, you can hold down to your ankles or you can slightly bend your knees, but just a little bit. Though. But the best thing is to keep your hands on the floor or if you have a block. So you can 
place your hands on block. So right here, go onto your tippy toes, lift your heels up, hold it for a few seconds. And now let's bring your, your, uh, your feet up, except your heels. So rest of the feet are up, your, more than your toes. Let's go back again. Heels up. You're on tippy toes. Now heels down and rest of the part of feet are up. One more time. Let's go up with your heels. And then rest of the foot, your heels down. Now bend your knees. And inhale, bring your arms up. As you roll up your body. Now you exhale as you bend your knees. Inhale. Exhale, one, exhale, two, go into 90 degree squat by bringing your hips down, six, seven, breathe out. Breathing out is very important. Quickly breathe out, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, nine more to go, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, and 30. Excellent. Bring your feet closed, feet, your arms up. And now twist to your left side, bend your knees, bring your right elbow over your left thigh. And twist your body towards your left. Inhale. Bring your arms up, exhale, go to your right side, and then twist your body. Let's do it one more time. Breathe in, breathe out, go to your left side. And let's go back up, inhale, exhale, go to your right side. Inhale, and then down. Let's bring your feet apart. And now here, your arms apart. Feet to your left. Let's bring your front arm up, the back hand behind. Stretch upwards, lean backwards. So think about stretching upwards and leaning backwards. Now let's bring same hand over your foot outside of your foot and your right arm up. Hold it for a few seconds. And let's come up. 
We're gonna go to your right side. So when you bring your hand in front of your, or inside of your foot, it stretches different head of your hamstrings than bringing your hand over your foot. Because we have two heads in back of our hip. Let's go upwards with your front arm up. Knee straight, stretch upwards, lean backwards. And let's bring your same hand over your foot. Other arm up. Look up. Knee straight, back straight, but leaning to your right side. And then let's come up. Now again, I would like you to notice now this time that what part of your hamstring is being stretched. The origin of your hamstring, right below your hip. Let's stretch your front arm up, back arm backwards, downwards. And let's go this time inside of your foot. And place your hand down and your right arm up. So now you're gonna notice what part of your hamstring is being stretched. As compared to, let's go up again. One more time, let's go up. And this time bring your hand forward over your foot. And see what part of your hamstring is being stretched. So they both are important, both positions. And let's go back up again. We're gonna do the same thing over your right side. Front arm up, your chin up. And first bring your, your hand inside your foot. And your other arm up. And let's go back, your front arm up, back hand behind your thigh, stretch your chin up, and let's go over your foot this time. You will feel the difference, and twist at the same time. And then come back. We're gonna do same exercise this time, with keeping your knee bent. So let's stretch your feet more apart. See how far you can go. So bend your front knee. So if you're straining your knee, front knee, that means your feet are not wide enough. So you should feel the strain on your thigh rather than on your knee. So if I bring my feet close to other foot, then I will be stressing more my knee rather than my thigh. All right, front arm up. Back and behind. And let's bring your front arm over your foot and other hand inside of your foot. All right, keep your front knee bent. Back heel up. Okay, back knee straight. Front knee bent. Now we are going to bring your front foot all the way up in air. And then bend your upper knee and then twist your hip outward. Your upper hip, your left hip outwards. All right, let's come back. Your, uh, your leg is up, so stay here. Keep your upper leg up, come into plank position while keeping your leg up. So let's go from here into Chaturang. And then let's go up and then back into downward dog. So if it is difficult for you, you can bring your chest down, but keep your foot off the floor. So let's go forward, let's go down and up. Two, we're gonna do three more times. Forward, 
down, up, and three, forward, exhale, go down, up, four, one more time, forward, down, and up, five, Let's bend your knee, bring it forward, and press your foot in the middle of your hands, your left arm up, you're going to twist, and let's go forward with your lower arm and then come back into center. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Bend your front knee, front arm up, back and behind. So some of you might find it difficult, but that's okay. All right, let's go down. Right hand over your foot, left hand down. So if you don't face the challenges, you never progress. We always have to face challenge. Back heel up. Okay, front foot off the floor and go up in air. Bend your upper knee and twist first. So twist your upper knee outwards. The gray falls for your lower back. All right, let's bring your leg up. Come forward, step along, upward dog, downward dog. Plank, step along, two, three, four, and five. Bend your knee, bring it forward between your hands. Right arm up, you twist, and then upper arm behind, left arm forward, swing back into center. All right, let's bring your feet together. We're going to balance, go down to your left foot, in your right hand, bring the knee downwards, your upper other arm up. And let's put your legs. Right foot in your left hand, your right arm up. and then down. Okay, next one is also a challenging pose. Bring your feet apart, arms apart, feet to your left, your whole body forward. Bend your front knee, turn your palms upwards. Bring your both arms all the way up and look up, back knee straight, and then arms apart and place them out, I mean, inside of your foot. So your left hand and right hand, the both are inside of your foot. Your back heel up. All right, bring your hips down, your chest up. And from here, toss your hips up. <clears throat> Okay, let's try again. Hips high, hips down. Now toss your both hips up <clears throat> along with your feet, but keep them at the same place. One more time. Your hips high, your chin down. Now your hips down, your chin up, and from here toss it up. <clears throat> Good. So now you know how to do it. When you toss up, at the time, bring your, change your feet. Your left foot goes to back and right foot comes forward. All right, let's go down, toss and change your feet. All right, let's do it a few times before you switch feet, you keep from here. 
Bring your hips down, your chest up, and toss your hips up along with your both feet. Let's go down and toss up. Your hips up and then down. One more time, toss them up. All right, from here, you are going to switch your feet again. Okay, your hips down, toss them up and switch your feet. Good. So hips high, hips down, toss and switch your feet. Let's try again. Hips high, hips low, and toss them up. <clears throat> Higher you toss your feet, I mean your hips, easier it is. One more time. Go down and toss them up and switch. And the last one, hips high. Hip slow, toss them up, good. Now bring your back heel down. Keep your front knee bent, right arm up. You twist here. And then bring your front arm up and back to center. Okay, let's try one more time on your other side. Arms out, feet to your right. Your whole upper body forward. Front knee bent. Both palms up. Let's bring your both arms up. Interlock your fingers, except your index fingers. Bent knee straight. And let's bring your hands down inside of your foot back heel up okay here your hips are high now bring your hips down drop them down and quickly you're going to toss them up to switch your feet let's go up and switch your feet okay let's try again hips high Drop hips down and toss them up. <clears throat> As you switch your feet, let's do it again. Hips dropped and toss them up. <clears throat> and toss them up. <clears throat> and toss them up. And toss them up. And again. And one more time. Okay, right foot forward. Your back heel down. Left arm up. You twist and then right arm up and then back to center. And that's how you learn this exercise, leveraging your whole body using your hips only. Hold down to your left foot behind in your right hand, your left arm up. And let's switch your feet. Go down to your right foot, and your left hand, and your right arm up. And then come down. Okay, let's bring your feet apart. Let's bend your left foot. Hold down to your height, your palms together. Fingers together, back to center. Bend your knees, come up one. Bend your knees, two. Bend your knees, three, four. Keep your back straight, five. Only one side, we are doing only one side. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Keep your chest straight. All right, let's go to your right side. 
Bend your knees. Your knees should be pointing towards your middle toes. One, two, three. Just straight four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, shake your legs, relax your thighs, and let's do 10 burpees. So what you're going to do, bring your arms up, bend your knees, and bounce up. So let's do it again together. We'll do five times, same exercise. Arms up, knees bent, one, knees bent, two, knees bent, three, knees bent, four, knees bent, five. We'll add one more step in it so you know exactly what burpees are. Arms up, knees bent, bounce, and place your hands down. All right, let's go up again. One, hands down. Two, hands down. Three, hands down. Four, hands down. And five. Okay, we'll add third step in it. So you have option to bring your feet one at a time or both feet together. Let's go up, knees bent. Go down, hands down here, both feet back, either single or both. Now you can bring your both feet together and go up. Okay, let's do five of these. Up, down, back, forward, up, down, back, forward, two, three, four, and five. Okay, we'll add one more step in it. We'll go, you go into plank, then you go into chaturang. Okay, arms up, knees bent, bounce up, hands down, feet back. So this is plank position. Go into chaturang, come up, feet forward, and come up. Let's do five of these. Up, bounce up, hands down, feet back, the wrong, up, forward, bounce, one, two, three, four, Five. Very good. I will go on your back. We'll do abdomen and then we'll do planks. All right. Let's go on your back. Knees to your chest. Upper body off the floor. Legs straight up. Arms behind, and this is called boat position. So let's hold it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 
28, 29, and 30. Bring your feet together and drop your knees out. All right, let's bring your fingers behind your lower part of skull. Your left ankle onto your right, right high, and then bring your right foot off the floor. That's your right elbow to your left knee one. Breathe out two. Three, four, twist as much as possible. Five, six, seven, eight. Breathe out. Each time you go up, ten. Allow. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen, fourteen. 10, 12, 10, twist, nine. so it works on your stomach, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, so you are doing two things, one is working on your abdominal muscles, and second, you are twist by twisting, working on your internal organs, your stomach, your pancreas, your intestines, maybe on liver, maybe. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side with your leg, right ankle onto your left thigh, and your knee up, your foot up, Let's touch your left elbow to your right knee. One, breathe out. Two, twist. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 40, 41, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Okay. Let's go, let's just rock on your back, go forward, go backwards, go forward, and forward. You are going to do side planks and one push-up. That means you are going to do one push-up and then go to side plank on your right hand and right foot. And again, back in the middle to do one push up, then on to back, left hand, and left uh, foot. Okay, let's go first. Hold for 10 seconds in the middle. Your high plank. Let's hold it for one, two, so everybody can get ready. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Let's go one push up. Come up. Go on your right foot and right hand. Go back in the middle. One push up. Come up. Left foot. I mean left hand and left foot, right arm up. Let's go back in the middle. One push up. Right hand, right foot. Go back. Both hands, both feet, down, up, on other side, down, push up, go up, right hand, right foot. One more time, in the middle, one push up, 
left foot, left hand, back in the middle. All right, let's go into child pose. And now let's hold on your low plank. Once you hold, then we will bring to your right side and the left side. We'll hold five seconds, back 10 seconds in the middle and five seconds on each side. All right, right knee straight, left knee straight. Hold it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Right foot, right arm, one, two, three, four and five. Left forearm, left foot. One, two, three, four and five. Back in the middle for 10 seconds. One, non-stop. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go to your right side. One, two, three, four and five, your left side. One, two, three, four and five. Back in the middle one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Last round. One, two, three, four. And five, left side, one, two, three, four, and five. All right, jam pose. Stand to lower back. And let's do more abdominal. Before we go on your abdominal exercise, let's go for the side one. Lie down on your left side, along, place your left arm, the lower arm, along with your body. This is also a great position for your lower back. Make sure you're touching your back hand behind your head on the floor. Lift your both legs up, touch, one. Lift them up, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's keep these knees straight. Ten. Ten more to go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's go on your other side. Again, remember, when it starts hurting, that's where you are start facing the challenge. And facing the challenge, that's where you, when you start improving mentally and physically. It's more phys mentally than your physically. When you face the challenge, okay, let's do the same thing 20 times. Breathe out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Let's go on your back. Okay. And this exercise is going to be for your lower back as well as your oblique and Vector muscles, the muscles in your abdomen, which are obliquely 
and the straight muscles also. Bring your arms apart. Your left leg up. Your right leg down. Off the floor. Now bring your upper leg, upper foot towards your right hand and lift it up. Now bring your feet together. Bring your right leg up. Bring it towards your left side and bring it up, then together. Left leg up, bring it towards your right hand, bring it back together. Right leg up towards your left side, bring it up. You're not touching floor anywhere. Left leg up towards your right side, bring it up, back. Right leg up, towards the left, up, and then down. Okay, so that's great for your abdominal muscles, your lower back. Okay, your feet next to your hips. Inhale, bring your arms up, your hips up. Exhale, bring your hips down. And that's your three times. Inhale. Hips up, arms behind your shoulders. Exhale, hips down, hands down. One more time. Go up and exhale. Okay, let's place your left ankle onto your right thigh. And we are going to do the same exercise. Inhale on your one foot, lift your body up. Exhale, bring the hips down. Two more times. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Breathe in. And exhale. Let's switch your feet. Place your right ankle onto your left thigh. Inhale and go up. Exhale. Inhale, go up. And exhale. One more time. And exhale. Okay, knees to your chest. And let's rock back and forth on your back. Backwards, forwards. Backwards, forwards. Backwards, forwards. And one more time. Forwards. You can go. You saw how high your heart rate went up, how tired you feel when you were exercising in terms of your you know, push-ups or your planks or chaturang, but once you complete, then you should feel relaxed instead of tired. So we are going to do three rounds of Kapal Bhati and end each round with the Hanzik Nisar, Udyan Band, Mool Band, Jalandhar Band. So let's do three rounds of it. So 150 each round. And time to time I explain each one of them. But today we are just going to do without much of explanation.
Once you complete three rounds of Kapal Bhati, you would like to do an Alom Vilom for three times. And now let's chant OM, long OM for three times. Chanting long OM is also a form of breathing exercise. It's a form of pranayam. So let's make it really long, long. So you get good pranayam. Take a deep breath in. No.
Thank you. Namaste. All right, great session. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for and, uh, We'll meet tomorrow morning again. Yes. Thank you, Dev. 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 Okay, Thank you. See you tomorrow morning. Thank you, Dev. Okay. Thank you, Dev. Subay, subay, mehrbani rakna amare upar thodi si. Subay ka subay pata lagega. Oh man. I don't know about tomorrow morning. I don't plan. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>